Excuse me, I'm Robert Jones and looking for the Museum of Surfaces. You are absolutely correct. I am Methuselah. I will be your guide today. I hope you brought some mathematical knowledge and interest. Come on in. Wow. I see you are amazed by the beautiful objects we display in our Museum of Surfaces. Let me show you the first one. Here, my young friend, you see the Costa surface. The Costa surface is a minimal surface which was described in 1982 by the Brazilian mathematician Celso José da Costa. The Costa surface is remarkable in several ways. It has been said that it resembles a certain type of samba hat. Two tunnels lead downwards, two tunnels lead upward. The surface is infinite. It was believed for a long time that the plane, the helisoid and the catenoid were the only embedded minimal surfaces that could be formed by puncturing a compact surface. But then Celso Costa discovered that he could puncture a torus three times and get a samba head. This wasn't all. There's more to discover. Now we come to another interesting surface. This is the boy's surface. It is an immersion of the real projective plane in three-dimensional space found by Werner Boy in 1901. He discovered it on assignment from David Hilbert to prove that the projective plane could not be immersed in three space. It has no singularities but it does self-intersect. The Boy's surface has threefold symmetry. This means that it has an axis of discrete rotational symmetry. Any 120 degree turn about this axis will leave the surface looking exactly the same. The boy's surface can be cut into three mutually congruent pieces. It is a non-orientable surface that is one possible parametrization of the surface obtaining by sewing a Möbius strip to the edge of a disc. Okay, I understand that. Hey, isn't this a Picasso? Yes, the picture is called Boy with Pipe. But it is rather realistic for a Picasso painting. Then watch this. Man, what's happening here? What you see is the iteration of a chaotic map, which is called Anosov Cat Map. Every pixel is moving according to this map. On the whole painting it is bijective. Was there a ghost? You have good eyes, young boy. Let's look at some time steps in detail. And now come your ghost, boys. This is amazing. Are they copied? No. It is formed of the pixels from the beginning. Nothing is copied. It is just moving. It is really amazing. This must be a really complex map. You will be surprised it is not. It is a linear map. What? This map brings chaos, because this plane picture actually is not plane. I see nothing anymore. Look! The map is linear in the plane and then lifted up onto the torus by gluing the edges. This is tricky. Come away from the picture, young man. You have to see this. This is the client bottle. It is a non-orientable surface. It has no inner nor outer side. It was first described by Felix Klein in 1882 as Kleinsche Fläche and then wrong translated to Klein Bottle. It can be constructed 
by joining the edges of two Möbius strips. There's also a limerick poem about it. A mathematician named Klein thought the Möbius band was divine. Said he, if you glue the edges of two, you'll get a weird bottle like mine. Now come over here, boy. You have to see our beautiful Penta surface. This is a constant mean curvature surface of genus 5 with very few bubbles. The genus is a topologically invariant property of a surface defined as the largest number of non-intersecting simple closed curves that can be drawn on the surface without separating it. Roughly speaking, it is the number of holes in a surface. This Penta surface is the first compact constant mean curvature surface of Ganners bigger than one that was successfully computed on a computer. It was experimentally found. That's interesting. Now look at our two tori. Let's observe the first one. We will begin to draw a blue line around the torus. Watch the starting point. The line is closing after some rounds. Now take the second torus. Here we will also draw a line. Let's go. As you see, this time it is not closing and it will never do so. The whole torus becomes blue. The explanation is simple. You have to remember that you can identify the torus with a square, as we did in the Picasso. And if you watch the line on the unfolded torus, it is really a straight line. Whether the line closes or not depends completely on its gradient. If it is a rational number, it will close. If it is irrational, it will not. Now we come to our last surface. Here you see a sphere immersed into four-dimensional space, which intersects itself at exactly one point. It is called the self-intersecting sphere. The main importance of this surface is that it is a simple example of a manifold that has a normal bundle with non-trivial characteristic classes and it is a good example of the connection between the geometry of a surface and its normal Euler number. Specifically, it is a closed surface in R4 that intersects itself at exactly one point. It is a simple example of an oriented surface with a non-zero normal Euler number. The Euler number here is equal to 2. Well, to every tour there is an end. I hope you like to learn more about the surfaces. Take care. Thank you so much, Methusalem. It was very interesting. I will tell all my friends that they should come here. Goodbye.